Hey guys, Mark here again. Hey, so I was just playing around with this downforce meter that I bought a while ago. Uh, it says Waymax. I bought this off eBay. It is for HO slot cars. Uh, it has a, two different pinholes. Pretty much all your cars are going to go in there other than your T-Jet type cars. Uh, this was $45 plus $5 shipping, so it did cost me 50 bucks. A little bit pricey, but it, it is a cool tool to have. Um, it has a couple of different um, settings. The T is basically to zero it out, but you could hit this M and it gives you... So that just switched to, it looks like ounces... Uh, another OZ type setting, CT, and then G. I, I leave it on G, which uh, I assume is maybe grams, but all I know is the higher the number, the more downforce the car has, and you, you can kind of get an idea of um, like a really low downforce, like this. Uh, TFX OS3 car is only sitting at like five, five or six. And this T-Jet car is, oops, pin and hole. T-Jet is sitting at just about almost as well, it's actually saying zero, <laughs> like 0.5, very low. No downforce pretty much on this car. <laughs> um, but then if you go up to, let's say, a Mega G Plus with level 42 magnets, um, you're sitting at just about 60 on this car. And I have a few other level 42 cars. So that was a short wheelbase. This is a longer wheelbase. And this is sitting at 65. So fairly close, 65, 66. This is another level 42 car sitting at right around 61. So low to mid 60s on the level 42 cars. Now, if you look at a level 30 stock, uh, neodyme on a Mega G Plus, you're you're only sitting at like 36, yeah, 38, 39, mid to upper 30s, I guess. So that that's a pretty good, pretty nice jump from 30, the mid 30s to the mid 60s. You're almost doubling your downforce by doing that upgrade from level 30 to level 42. Um, and I was just playing around with looking at some other cars. This is one of my magnet traction cars that I have upgraded to level seven magnets and it's darn close to the stock Mega G plus level 30 magnets with that. This is a, um, extraction chassis auto world. This I thought would have more downforce, but this is actually only sitting at like 25. Um, this is a Wizard Storm. It's got some pretty good downforce. That's sitting at like 156. Um, let's compare that to a Viper V-Spec Pro 4, you know, stock magnets sitting at like one, 109. 110 almost. And then if you go up to like a Pro 10 package, magnet package, you're getting up into like almost the 170 range. So pretty good jump from the Pro 4 to the Pro 10 package. Um, this is a Harden Creek Super 7 with Pro 10 traction magnets. This car is pretty high off the ground. This is the one built for plastic tracks. Uh, sitting at 100. 
And this is a Tyco. This has Pro 8 magnets and Pro 4 motor, I believe, is what I put in this chassis when I built it. Sitting at almost 130. Um, but one thing that you can do with um, with this when you like for example this bulldog chassis this has the bar bar type magnet and this is a newer bulldog with the neodyme magnets you would think that this one would have more downforce but in this configuration with the rear end that's in these cars so this is sitting at like 93 with the, uh, this is a Harden Creek. Uh, I got this from Harden Creek and I, it looks like he might've put a better rear end or a lowered rear end in this, in this car. Um, this um, Neo car I bought off of like one of the like BSR hobbies, one of those hop online hobby shops. I'm pretty sure this is just stock right from Bulldog. And you see it's it's only sitting at 70, whereas this was in the 90s. Um, but if you swap the rear end on these cars and you put the lower profile rear end in that Neo car and the bigger rear end in the non-Neo car. Now let's see what we get on the downforce. Now we're only at 71, where with the lowered rear end, we were in the 90s. And now this car that was in the 70s is now in the 100, the Neo car. So that makes sense. And if you look at how much bigger the tires are, that's where this gauge comes in handy. I just got this from, from Harden Creek, his new tire gauge. This thing is awesome. It's got broken down by front and rear. And if you look at the rear end, rear axle setup that came with the Harden Creek Bulldog, I think it was sitting at like 446, almost like 444 actually, between 444 and 446. And if you look at the rear end that was in the Neo car, Bulldog car, um, it was all the way up to like 466. Yeah, like right around 466. So from a 444 to a 466, yeah, goes to show you how the profile of the tire really makes a difference when you lower it down and, and bring it closer to the rails. So with, with both these tools, with this downforce meter and that tire gauge, you can kind of figure those things out. Um, and then if you get up into, um, well, this car has the Max Traction Pro 4 package, that Viper and Harden Creek cell. It's kind of has like a flared out end or wing to it on the traction magnet. It's supposed to give you better handling in the corners. So it's like 114. Gives you a little bit more downforce than the the stock Pro 4, which was at like 103. Yeah, 112. So not a whole lot more, but it has a wider profile. But then when you get up into like this is my Neo 35 car, you're looking at like 290 really getting up there and then this has both these cars have pro 25 magnets and this is another good example this car i put lower profile front and rear tires on compared to this one 
this says 0.35 and I don't remember the exact diameter of the, the rear, but it's definitely a higher profile than what's on this car. And this is sitting at like 297 and with the lowered profile, sitting at 303, actually over 300. Really depends where you get the rear tire, but pretty close. But um, so yeah, you can see how much how much more downforce these Pro 25 and Neo 35 magnets have over everything else. A lot more downforce, but you have a much stronger motor, so you you need that downforce. But yeah, good little tool to to really kind of fine tune your car and. You know, if you have four cars that you're racing and you want to try and get them all to be as close as possible between the tire gauge and the uh, downforce tool, you can really tweak things. I was checking all of my um, my four V-Spec cars and I was surprised to find one of them had a much lower profile. The V-Spec usually comes with like a 440 or 442 and one of them was all the way down to like... 434 or 436 for some reason. I don't know if I accidentally swapped it out somehow or, or what, but I went ahead and changed out the tires on that car to bring that more in line with the other three. So now they're, they're all much closer as far as their downforce goes. So having a tire gauge definitely helps with that. And, you know, this gives you a pretty good visual. Um, you know, now I know if... Like, I'm not smart like some guys who mark the bottom of their cars so they know they put level 42s, they put a different color. Sometimes I'm like, did I put, did I upgrade those? Or is that still level 30? <laughs> now I can measure it and know if it's in the 30 something range, it's, it's level 30. And if it's in the 60 range, it's level 42. But there you go, that's it, just wanted to do a, Quick little video for you guys and show you these tools and so you can check it all out. All right, guys, thanks again for stopping by and checking out the video and, and all the support. I certainly appreciate it, and we'll talk with you guys soon.